Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And let's start the timer. Ba-ding. Two minutes or less. TNT. Yeah. I'm going to lay you out a scenario. Uh-oh. So you, you need a fine young woman. Wow, women again. Well, th- <laughs> it, this is, it's actually, it, I have to put it in, it's, it's actually a guy, but I've put a woman. A well, woman. make it a guy for me. Let's just change, let's change <laughs> do it up. You do not want me to make this a guy for no, you. No, let's, let's try So it. you're you're on a date with a young gentleman. <laughs> okay, what's his name? Uh, Josue. Oh, Josue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't, um, know, I didn't know I had a type. You, uh, you decide, you know, things are going well. You go up the lookout point. You're yeah. sitting in the car. What color is his eyes? I don't know. Hazel. Okay. Okay, and, uh, All right, I can deal with that. And uh, he, he he convinces you to have coitus with him. Okay, you're like, ooh, I like you, Jose. Let's let's bang. Uh, and here's the other thing that <laughs> that it doesn't really. I mean, anyways, is he a you, top or a bottom? It doesn't matter. You're 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 the bottom. <laughs> anyways, so you come you come to find out. Yeah. You have HPV now. Uh, Jose gave me HPV. Jose gave Jose gave you HPV. Yo. We gotta have a conversation. So, yeah, right, right. You have a, have a conversation, you know. And you, I mean, you bang a dude in a car, and you get a, an STI, and you're like, "What the f?" <laughs> so, never happened. So, did you know though that you could sue his car insurance company? I heard about this. Now, how does this work, dude? Okay, how I, does this I, work? I, I, okay, I work in the car insurance industry, but I don't work <laughs> on that. I work. You know, I work on the back end. I don't deal anything with the policies or claims or anything. Sure, 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 sure. So I don't really know. But I was talking to people I know about this, and they're like, I have no idea how this was a thing. Yeah. Because Geico does not insure the person. Geico insures the car. The yeah. car did not give you H- HPV. That, that's what she is saying, is that she got it from the seat of his car. But even that, like, that that... The car, they're there to prevent it damage. Caused damage. Right. <laughs> it damaged her vagina. Right, dude. And I was like, what the actual hell? This sets such a bad precedent. I mean, $5 million they okay, paid this woman. Nuts. Did they pay her? $5 million. They paid the $5 million. $5.2 million. Because she said she got HPV from his car seat. Yeah, and I don't even, I even tried to read the article and I just didn't understand. And, like, this is coming from someone who has knowledge of how the industry works on the inside. Like I said, I get it because technically the car caused damage. Yeah, but, but that aside. Life-altering damage. If But how do you prove it? Yeah, like, how do you prove they did. he didn't get it from his dick and you got it from the car? <laughs> maybe, he was, maybe, he didn't, maybe he wasn't a carrier. Because men can, with HPV... Men can't really contract it. Well, men, can, you can't can even carried. test men for it, right? Like a guy. I, I think you can get tested for it. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah. gotcha. But we can be carriers, but we don't show symptoms usually. But with a woman, lifelong symptoms. Right, right. Like it's right. a legit STI for him. Yeah, yeah. And and I don't know, dude. It just blew my mind that that would even be a thing. And well, and here's the other thing. Like I get it. Even if you want to pay them out medical damage, because you, you you do have like a medical claim thing with with a car insurance, and I get that. But like. Five million dollars. Look, if the if the car had hit somebody walking across the street, yeah, Geico's gonna pay that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the car, but like. So if I get hit with HPV, if you get my with, nethers. <laughs> your nethers get hit with HPV from your car seat, which is the wildest thing in the, on the planet. Like we we haven't even cracked into the face of like how did HPV get on the car seat that but she that- sat on. Stuff like that doesn't live very long. D- does it? Right. I mean, well, I, I don't know. We don't know. You don't know. Based viruses. They, it's not like they're living around for two weeks, chilling on a car seat. Okay, so let, let's think of a scenario that HPV can end up toilet seats end up on the seat of his car and end up in this woman's vagina. Okay, someone without their pants on had to sit down. Okay, so the guy had another girl. In the car. With her pants off. And he may have maybe not inserted his male end into her female well, end. He, but ar- maybe he aroused during her juices got Maybe on the used seat. his finger. Yeah. Got her juices on the seat. Yep. And then went to go pick up his girlfriend. Which is, you know, all the more reason why you would pursue a $5.2 million case. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Um, well, well, here's the thing. You never hear about anybody getting stuff off a toilet seat. 
That's true, but I mean, like... And there's more... A women's bathroom would be way more apt to spread HPV from woman to woman than a car seat. But women hover. No women... I feel like... Like, <laughs> like in the last 10 years, no woman's ass has ever touched a public toilet. They're always just like, I'll hover. Like, they have that down to a science. That's true. That's I don't true. know how they do it, man. I can't do it. I have to wrap my seats. I'm a seat wrapper. I'm yeah. a... Oh, you! Oh my God! I never thought. I always lay down toilet paper, but you wrap it. Wrapping works. I don't necessarily wrap it like that, but I do. Oh, oh. I take like I take toilet paper and then I fold it over. Like we're we really discussing the way we. Yeah, wrap I want to figure this out. I've yeah. always called it wrapping, but uh, I'll take toilet paper. I'll take out about a cubit. I'll take about a cubit's worth of toilet paper. Is that like paper. a yard? <laughs> Four arms length. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> it's cool. a biblical term, but I like using it. So I'll take about a cubit's worth of paper, and then I'll fold it over on itself, and then I'll put that on the seat, and then I'll take another cubit, put it on the other one, and sometimes I'll take two cubits folded on each side. Oh, I cover the entire seat, even the gap in the middle, because I definitely yes. don't want my junk touching yeah, that. And thing. Sometimes it's nice to rest your meat right there. <laughs> Like it's like a little meat rest. Yeah, dude. You it's don't like, worry about dripping in the water. Yeah, and if you have like a nice buffer of toilet paper there, you can let just let your meat rest rest there. <laughs> just let it rest. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like uh it's like one of them pads for your wrist on the computer. <laughs> yeah, it's like an armrest in your car. <laughs> yeah, dude, right now, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like an, yeah. an ottoman. Yeah, exactly. It's like a meat ottoman. Yeah, a meat ottoman. <laughs> that is, that's that's pretty, <laughs> so, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so Jonas, she actually got paid for this. Yeah, five point two million, dude. Nuts. Can I get one million for anything? No, Please? you gotta you gotta get hurt or get an STD or something to My have Lord, that happen, dude. Really? Yeah, sorry, no, it's the only way it's gonna happen for you. It's the only way I'm gonna have any sort of riches in my life is by getting maimed. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm afraid so, my man. So, Good or Lord. you can get an STD. You can always do that. God, man, you wanna try that? No, I'm good. You know what they call those people, Jonas? Call them bug chasers. Why? Because they're looking for a bug. People who actively see, seek out certain ST, STDs, usually uh, I think it's accredited to HIV. Why? I don't know. Um, some people have strange feelings in them. There are women out here who uh, feel like they should have been more men. There are, I've heard cases of men who have chopped off their arms and or legs because they felt like they should have been born as an amputee. Um, so it's like, well, yeah, it's like the person that eats couch stuffing and they're like, I'm addicted to eating couch stuffing. And they're like, how'd you even start eating couch stuffing in the first place? Yeah, I mean, that one's a little, that's that's kind of on a different level than like. Cut, just, than cutting off your arms? Yeah. You're going to say that's less yes. weird than cutting off your arm? It's, it's more considerably weird. less weird than cutting off your arm because you felt like you should have been born with one arm. No, that's what I meant. You said eating couch stuffing is more weird. Than no, just, less weird. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Less okay, weird. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Um, well, yeah, it's like. I mean, eating cows, I don't know how you even get that in your head. That's, but I feel like that's like a different part of the psyche. Right, right, But right. like, so, so some people feel like they should have been born with AIDS and, you know, they call them bug chasers and they try to like set up meetups with infected people to contract. Man. It happens. Um, I'm not saying it's that this guy is one of those people and he was like, I just need to get HPV on my seat so I could, like, it was a malicious thing. Right, right. right. Hmm. I don't know. Dude, I don't know. That's really weird. <laughs> Ugh. I just couldn't believe that they that they paid her out. Like I don't I don't understand how any arbitrator or anyone it, look, it went to court, man. It, they paid her. Yeah. So obviously like she's smarter than us. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> like I I wouldn't even think to do that. Like if I if I had a ward on my ass after I sat in somebody's pickup truck, I'm not gonna be like, well, I need to call Geico. <laughs> That's not gonna be on my mind. Right, right. What yeah. company was this? That guy. It was Geico. It was a Geico. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't know, man. That and little lizard is paying out for anything, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Well, they don't like to pay out. I'm sure it was a hard fought battle. But you're right, Jones. This is this is precedent. It's a precedent because now I'm like, yo, is there anything? How many people are getting STDs in a car? I mean, but look, even beyond STD, what if I like get my hand caught in your windshield wiper and like my finger hurts? Well, I guess that stuff always is counted. 
Yeah, but like I, I don't know. It kind of opens the eyes to like there's so many more avenues. Somebody you slam your hand at somebody's door. You, you call mm. Geico. Man, speaking of which, when was the last time you slammed a finger or something in a car door? A yo? long time. When's the last? Very long time. Have you lately? No, man. I'm so I don't want that. How about the last time that you've accidentally like ran into the corner of your door? Like into oh, your oh, chest or oh your shoulder. Oh my god, dude, that is that hurts so bad. Everybody hates that one, dude. That one, is, it always hits you in like the weirdest <laughs> corner of your shoulder or some ish too, dude. You're like, yeah, like ew. I hate that. I hate it too. I it's hate gross, it too. dude. It is so gross. I hate it. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, it's weird, man. So, sometimes I'm like, I've never had anything really crazy bad happen like that, but like. Some of these, like, how much does that mess you up, right? Like, yeah, you caught HPV from a car. Uh, Five million dollars would definitely let me forget about it. <laughs> right. I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to feel a hell of a lot better waking up in the morning with HPV knowing that I have five million dollars in the bank. Yeah. Let's keep it a buck. Yeah, you ain't wrong, man. Hey, look, man, it's it's the new age way of getting rich, Jonas. You know, just sue somebody. Yeah. I'm yeah. looking into it myself, man. I'm just waiting for somebody to say something stupid or make me feel uncomfortable or, like, start a fight with me so I can just take an L. <laughs> You're coming with me, so don't worry. Yeah. You know, when I when I make it to the top of the litigious ladder, Jonas, I'm bringing you with me. So <laughs> I let a guy kick my ass. <laughs> hey. I'm missing a couple teeth, my dude, but hey, we all the way up. That million bucks can get some porcelain <laughs> fixes. We so, all the way up. Yeah, man. I don't know. Uh, dude. All right. I don't know. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.